as well as clients. So welcome everyone. Firstly, I'd like to start with, there have been some sales. Transactions are transpiring. Safely though, there are challenges with showings and so forth. Many buildings are not allowing showings. However, you can do virtual showings and opens and there are other things that we can do now to keep within the guidelines. So first of all, there was a sale by Pharrell. He bought a $30 million home in Gables Estates. Also, there was a sale in Gables Estates uh, for $40 million, the founder of Leon Medical. And you probably all heard by now, the Beckhams purchased at 1000 Museum for $19.8 million, the penthouse. Also good news at the residences of Armani Casa, sales over $800 million to date. So in spite of all, real estate is happening and it's an essential business. So I'd like to start with some questions now. First, John, if you can let us know how can people sign if they are not able to attend the closing, whether they're local or out of state? What is it called? Is it called Ron or John? Or what is the name of the signing? There are actually two names. The first one is Ron, which means remote online notarization. So sellers who are not local, out of the state or out of the country, can sign electronically, and that would be sufficient for the closing. There's also a RIN, remote ink notarization, where the buyer or borrower actually signs the document because some lenders require wet signatures. So RIN is used for mainly loan documents, and both of those we're actively doing now, and both are working very well. Thank you. Okay, Anthony, can you tell us about extensions and the two addendums now? Well, there's uh, an extension addendum to the, uh, to the contract uh, for the coronavirus. And due to the coronavirus and the closures of uh, municipalities, associations, if there's a delay in obtaining things such as lien searches or condo approvals, uh, you could use this addendum to very quickly and easily extend different periods uh, in time periods in the contract by just checking off a box. Uh, the first one, the closing date, does not even require a date to be filled in. That one is an automatic 30 days if left blank. Each other period would require you to either put a specific number of days or a specific date. And in addition, there's also some additional loan protection included on the coronavirus addendum, where if there is already a financing contingency in place and the loan approval has been obtained, then the buyer can be able to withdraw from the contract and keep their deposit if for some reason, due to the coronavirus, the lender does not fund the loan. Um, the other form that is also being used is the in-person acknowledgement form. Uh, this one basically allows you, if you're going to be entering properties, um, that it certifies that you, you and your buyer or that the seller as well is keeping up with the CDC requirements regarding wearing face masks, wash, washing your hands, and it's a very easy way to provide uh, notice to the parties involved that you are sticking to those requirements and you are taking care before en entering any property. Okay, thank you. All right, John, what is the word on evictions and foreclosures during this time period? Yeah, April 2nd, Governor DeSantis passed an order stating that uh, all evictions and foreclosures are suspended for 45 days. So we're in almost coming to the middle of March. So what happens during this period is landlords cannot evict tenants and banks cannot evict homeowners. So we're still within that time period, which is good. Um, and then we'll find out at the end of this time period if Governor DeSantis is going to extend it any further. But right now, 
There's no evictions and no foreclosures. Okay. Anthony, some realtors were concerned because the market has been slow for the last few months. Um, is there any assist that they can apply for or what are your recommendations? Uh, yes, under the CARES Act, which was passed, it expanded uh, unemployment assistance benefits to include um, individuals who are self-employed, um, and that is an extra $600 per week in addition to the Florida maximum of 275 if they also qualify for that one. So I would encourage them to definitely uh, try to log on and apply. You can also do a paper application. Uh, they're going to be requesting documentation, for example, your Schedule C income tax returns uh, so that you can show your average monthly income. And if approved, they would be entitled to those federal funds of $600 per week. Okay. There was something I was just asked today, so I don't mean to put you on the spot. But uh, for showings, I think there's a form that you can have um, people sign and make sure that the person's qualified, that they wear a mask and gloves and so forth. Are you aware of any information about that? Yeah, that was the in-person acknowledgement form that I okay. was speaking of earlier. That's, that, that's the one. Okay, thank you. I just thank you for the clarification. Okay, any other good news? I know it's a good buying opportunity right now. I know New Yorkers still are wanting to come here because of the tax benefits and so forth. Anything else positive that you're hearing or seeing? And, I, I, you know, hopefully things um, are going to pick up even further. I know the forecast is very good, especially for the fall. Uh, yeah, actually, we're seeing more interest from the Northeast, not only because of the tax uh, benefits Florida has, but also because those are more dense cities than mm -hmm. Florida has. So because of this virus, people are realizing that they don't want to be living too close to people. Here in Florida, we're a little bit more spread out, which is nice. Um, but we're seeing an uptick from northeastern buyers. Also, another bit of good news to add on to the last topic was if buyers or sellers are not electronically or computer savvy, they can still come. We can do what's called curbside closings, where we can do a closing. We did the uh, did, we did a closing the other day out in the parking lot. Yep, we drive by. A couple of our assistants put the masks and gloves on, and we met a buyer in the parking lot, and he signed in his car. So that's also an available option in case people don't want to sign online as well. Okay. Anything you want to add to any of the positive news about the pricing or the timing or anything? And um, closings, hopefully, you know, they're still going on. I see every day on here every day good news. Yeah, the good news is interest rates are staying still very low. So there's some big opportunities not only to refinance a current property, but also to purchase uh, right. additional property. So um, there was a slowdown for sure. We did see Initially. a little bit of some price reduction, but not a lot. So um, I don't think we're going to see much more price reduction. If anything, it's going to stabilize for the time being. Now okay. that uh, reopening orders are coming about, it might start to go back up. So now uh, it's a good time to speak with your realtors. Uh, and also to continue doing those online or virtual tours to find properties that you might be interested in. Yeah, I'm going to mention just a quickly a few tools that might be a benefit right now that realtors can implement and contact me about. Um, first of all, virtual tours. If you just can't, if you can't get into the property and you just send pictures, I have an associate that will make the tour for you out of your pictures, only for forty nine dollars for buildings or um, homes where they can go in and scan, they can do the 3D tours, and those are starting at 175, going to 350, depending on the size. So, and also, Danny, who we work with, that's helping us do this, he can create the 3D from 2D, and he's showing you samples right now as we speak. So there's a lot of options with that. 
and also with our virtual tours. For instance, you can be on your property and I could bring you on screen. You can present and or if you don't want to be live, you can just hold up the phone and show a brief tour of your property. And we can do it that way or we can help create virtual tours and opens. And the last one is a new um, thing that I just heard about called Push Alerts. They're web-based subscriptions that are only $69 for up to 10,000 subscribers to your website. So you then convert the people and that are interested in getting information from you and you send live one-click push notifications, updates about properties and so forth. So that's something new and it has 10 times the success rate of emails and it's live one click and it's being met with a lot of success. So if you want contact me for that and as always, all of us, our whole team, Paulina and crew and everybody is here to help you. We help structure deals. We help include the legal services to answer any questions for you and your clients. Again, we're remote as needed or hands-on as needed, whatever your preference is. So anyone else want to add anything? No, we just uh, hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and we look forward to seeing everyone very soon. Yes, yeah, stay safe and keep selling. And we look forward to seeing everyone in the near future. Thank you all. Florida closing in escrow and bow. Thank you.